Hi, Tony Sweet here, and today we're going to discuss mirroring. Um, if you're familiar with the work of Andre Gallant, uh, this is one of the hallmarks of his style. Uh, and rather than talking about it too much, let me just show you what it looks like. We're going to take this image and mirror it horizontally. So you have this really cool graphic panoramic uh, uh, format image in this case. There are I'm doing three podcasts on mirroring. This is one way to do it. The one I'll do next um, in a few days will be something else. And then the third one is a very cool technique that uh, um, our late buddy Barbara Williams uh, showed me. Pretty cool. So let's start with this. First thing you want to do here is to uh, select all. So since I use keystrokes, I've got to search the menus here. There it is, select all. And then we're going to just copy and paste this image. Copy and paste. Now we need to get our page size together. So we'll go into image and canvas size. And you want to go to percent on this because you want the height to remain the same because it is being flipped horizontally, but you want the length or the width to be doubled. So 200%. And then the anchor point, which is critical here, uh, it's sort of uh, uh, not intuitive. You tend to want to click the side where it's going to, but in this case, you click the opposite side where you want the arrow pointing to where it's going. That's all. Just do that. It'll be fine. Then click OK. And there's where we're going to flip that image. So now we have our page size perfectly fine. Go to free transform next to begin the process of flipping. Uh, I believe it is somewhere around here. There it is. <laughs> free transform and that'll select the image. At this point we have a uh, graphic up under the word Photoshop. It's got this little square that's made up with smaller squares. But you want to pick the square to where the image is flipping and that will be the one on the right. At this point, we will go to transform and flip horizontal. And we're pretty much done. At this point, we hit return. And there's our deal. Let's hit the F key, show you the whole thing in the picture space here. Now, if we go to black, just a quick little tip here at the end. If we go to black, you kind of lose the edges a bit here. So let's go back again. And I want to create a, a little white border just, just in case it's sitting in a dark area so it, it stands out. And we're going to lose, lose the picture. So let, let's go into select, select all again. And then we'll go into edit and we'll say stroke. We want to create a stroke to go around that rectangle. And uh, inside is fine. Five pixels is fine. You want it to be white. Let's try white. Let's just make this very, very bright and just pick the white corner up here. There it is. Okay that out. Now, it, it's kind of hard to see. You want to hit, um, as far as, you want to hit deselect. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but if we hit the F key and again go to black, there it is. And that's the basic idea on this first technique of mirroring. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and we'll see you online.